Okay folks, I'm going to tie a wee gosling pattern. The hook I have on the vise is a size 10 standard heavyweight bat fly hook. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread, 8 0 and camel. It's this nice light brown or colour. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run on a bit of thread. I'm just going to take my thread down, thumb slightly past the point of the hook and remove the waist tag. The tail on the fly is going to be a cock pheasant fibers. Now, right, just taking off about a half dozen fibers. And I want this to be twice the length of the hook over the back. So I'm just going to come in with a turn to hold. Then I'm going to take my thread turns down the hook, tying in the tail. And I'm going to come in and trim the excess the length of the body. Now, compensate, don't put on three fibres. You know, last time I checked, fish can't count, but just to compensate for the, the fly, for the, the, the fish taking the fly, just want to compensate for that. Now, the rib is an oval gold tinsel and small. So, I'm just going to come in. And take a length of this off the spool and away and just let me offer this up what's the same length as the cut end of the pheasant tail then I'm just going to run my thread up tying these in just run it up just make sure you're securing everything in now we don't need to be too fussy with the body then I'm going to bring the thread back and open turns body's going to be dubbed just bring it down to the tail now, you can use golden olive seeds for, and this occasion I'm going to use. This is a golden olive out of the traditional Irish dubbing range. And I'll show you the box of the dubbing in a wee minute. It's a guy called uh, Frankie McPhillips from from another down in Anniskillen. Now, just bring the you're dubbing up the body, just the length of the body to there, and bring your thread in front of the body. Now I'll just show you the box. That's it there. The golden olive. That's the box. Hopefully you can see that okay. That's the box. It's good stuff. It's good to have a range of dubbing, dubbing in your, uh, your fly tying arsenal. Now, the body haggle. It's going to be a dyed orange uh, cock saddle haggle. So it's going to take out a nice feather here off the cape. Take away all the rubbish at the bottom. Strip it away. Don't need it. It's going to offer this on the my side of the hook. Nice tight turns. Tying it in. Now, all I like to do to come around with the haggle and get two turns going at the shoulder and then three or four turns down the body now just going to come around with your oval silver tinsel at this stage catch in your access here haggle and then you're looking four turns of the oval gold tinsel up the body now Keeping your tinsel tight and come in and break away the excess of the haggle. Still don't let it go. Come in, fold back the haggle at the front. Anything that's going forward, fold it back. Bring your tinsel up. Follow it around with your thread. And then get nice tight turns in there. Just tying in the, the tinsel. Now you can have the body heavier than that if you wish. And put on four or five turns down the body. So I'm just going to come in with my scissors knock away the excess and what you can do if you wish you can come in with your you've got a dedicated dubbing brush or in this case this is a lollipop stick with a bit of velcro on it you can just come in and brush it out now I'm just going to bring the thread to the eye and back up I'm just getting the foundation at the front here for the haggle now the haggle at front at the front is going to be a teal flank feather 
stuff that teal got. Uh, you don't get many turns out of these wee haggles, so just want to stroke back the favours to get us a tandem point and a tip. There's a tip there. And just offer this up to the hook. Bring with a turn to hold. A couple of turns to secure, fold back the tip. Just bring your thread turns back up over the tip and the haggle. And you come in and locate the tip. And you can break it away. Now, I'm just going to wind this round. Now, what I'll do is I'll use hackle pliers to show you so you can see what I'm doing. It's just a light pair of hackle pliers. Don't use hackle pliers much. Just prefer to wind it by hand. But anyway, look, I'm just going to fold them back. Just fold the fibers back. Spring one turn in front of the other. And like I said at the start, you don't usually get many turns out of the we haggle but get another one in yep just want to use it all up then so just keep a hold of the haggle pliers on the stem come around with your thread catch in the stem remove your haggle pliers take another turn to hold now I'm going to fold the stem back it's done enough I'm going to bring the thread to the front then bring the thread up over the stem, just tying everything in at the stage nice and tight. Now, keep the thread tight, come in and locate the stem, bring it away. Still keeping the thread tight, come in with your whip finishing tool and just throw in a whip finish. Put it up nice and tight, come in from the thread away. Now just to finish off we'll put on some clear cellular varnish just on the head. Just get it on the head. Don't be scared to get it in the eye. Just make sure it's well cemented in there. Right the whole way right round. And then when we come in we can clean the eye out. Now a bit of waste wire here on my desk so just go in with the wire. Just clear out the eye. there you go it's just a wee gosling pattern right. good fly to have in your box if you fish the mayfly and the, the big irish lock so look give the fly a wee go there's many different colour combinations you know use your imagination that's what fly tan's about um give the fly a wee go and hopefully it can catch you a few fish <laughs>